So I'm an RV tech and I went undercover to look at RVs and tell you which ones I think are quality and which are overpriced lemons. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing a 2023 model Grand Design Solitude ST382WB. Even if you're not in the market for a fifth wheel or this Grand Design, I'd encourage you to watch all the video because I'm gonna be talking about some suspension upgrades and something technicians know about Lippert hydraulic cylinders that you should probably know while you're shopping. If you're new to my channel, I have a free RV shopping course that you can sign up for, and the paid version of it includes an app that you'll see me using to grade the solitude today. First question the app is gonna ask about the water heater. This one has a Furion brand tankless water heater. So I give this an eight out of 10 points because if wind blows rain in the exhaust tube, it can fill up a sensor that makes your water heater quit working. It's just a bad design. It's not a deal breaker, but but they could do better. The next question the app is about the roof material, and I would say this one has a quality roof membrane, 10 out of 10. Be advised, any rubber roof can have installation defects, bubbles that can make it rip off as you go down the highway. Go get my Don't Buy a Lemon guide to learn how you can spot those and avoid getting a lemon RV. So the next question in the app is gonna talk about refrigerators, and this has a 12 volt Furion. Most 12 volt refrigerators, unfortunately, are showing to be very unreliable. Furion is no exception to this, so I give them a 6 out of 10. Next question in my app is about air conditioners. This unit has Coleman Mach air conditioners, which I give a 7 out of 10 rating because, as a technician, I've had to replace many, many Coleman units that were 3 years old or less that simply lost all their Freon. The next question in the app is about the cabinetry in the RV. The doors are built with a solid wood material. However, on the cabinet boxes, the face frames, these are built out of lumber core. I'd say this is a medium quality material. I give the cabinets an 8 out of 10 rating. The next question in the app is going to ask about the countertop quality. They used a very high quality solid surface type of countertop. I give that a 10 out of 10. The next question in the app is going to talk about slide outs and the bedroom slide on this has a Schwintex slide and the other slides are through frame which is usually my favorite but they are hydraulically actuated not electric. Hydraulic slides can operate faster than electric. So here's the deal with hydraulic slides and hydraulic leveling systems. Hydraulic cylinders have been used in commercial applications for a very long time and they can make cylinders withstand heavy equipment being used day in and day out 365 days a year without needing to be rebuilt. Lippert is going with cheaper hydraulic cylinders. They want aluminum ones that are lightweight. The consequences they have chosen materials just don't last as long. Overall, I think the Schwintech is actually worse than the hydraulics, so I give the slide room mechanisms a 6 out of 10. Folks, if you talk to the salesman, he's going to tell you that all slide outs are created equal, and that is simply not true. If you're seriously shopping RVs, I highly recommend that you buy my RV shopping course. If if you're looking for a quality RV that doesn't break the bank, one of the most important things to look at is the type of slide out mechanisms they use on. This is where my shopping course will help you in identifying what's quality and what's not. Next question in the app is going to be about plumbing. And if you're new here, you're probably wondering what the heck I'm talking about. RVs are not always plumbed correctly. This RV was plumbed terribly. We have this flexible hosing pinch clamped onto fitting problem throughout the whole RV. So welcome to the RV industry where because it is not a permanent structure the government doesn't actually have any regulatory oversight on how RVs are plumbed. And because it's not a part of the car, then lemon laws don't really apply to it. So yes, you can spend $100,000 on plumbing or even a half a million dollars on plumbing that will leak everywhere. And you'll be told like, ah, this just happens. RVs shake going down the road. You know, they do that. So the cargo weight rating on this is 2,800 pounds, and I believe it. It's got heavy-duty axles and some upgraded suspension components. This one has upgraded, really heavy-duty shackle links on it. The shackle links connect the springs that are on the axle to the frame of the RV. Standard shackle links are thin enough, they can stretch and just break if you have a really heavily loaded RV like this one. Thicker shackle links is a good feature, a very worthwhile upgrade, especially on an RV this big, or any toy haul. They also have high performance hydraulically actuated disc brakes, which is going to be a benefit if you're doing mountain driving or if you're running this thing loaded to the max and you need good stopping power. The last question in my app asks about fit and finish, and I gave this one a 9 out of 10. It had a minor issue, but nothing really big. Total score for this RV would be a 75 or a C grade RV. Unfortunately, because of the incorrect plumbing, I have to give this Grand Design Solitude as beautiful as 
as it is, I have to give it an F. I had a viewer email me saying that he took a tour of a Grand Design manufacturing plant. He asked the tour guide if they were aware that they were connecting flexible tubing to the wrong type of fitting. The guide said, yes, they were aware. And he had talked to his bosses about it because he's gotten enough questions about it. And you know what his bosses said? That management at Grand Design, they said they haven't had enough complaints under warranty about this issue to warrant a change in the manufacturing process. Folks, the warranty is one year on this thing. And most people are camping seasonally and they're not going to see serious water leaks until after the warranty is up anyway. I don't know about you. I mean, call me crazy. I think RV plumbing should be leak free for much more than one year. And here's the kicker. If it does leak under warranty, they're not going to fix it properly. They're going to reinstall the same bad plumbing they put in it originally. And folks, if you want to see some change in the RV industry, don't just walk away from a grand design because you know it's plumbed incorrectly. Talk to your salesman about it. Let them know about your decision to not buy it because of the plumbing. The more word gets to upper management that people are choosing not grand design because of their atrocious plumbing, the more they will be persuaded that this is a change they need to make in order to sell RVs. So click here for a video about the plumbing problem that I've been describing, as well as a playlist of other videos showing how to repair the plumbing. Click here for other reviews of fifth wheels that I've done, or click here for a playlist of all of the RV reviews I've done.